This is this is Andrew Stotz of A. Stotz Investment Research to talk to you about China, where I see poor momentum and a moderately attractive uh, country. If we look at the way that I look at a market, there's four components to it. Let's start at the upper left, and that's about GDP. If we blow that up and look at it in detail, what we can see is that GDP, in this case, 6.8%. Uh, 6.9%. And that GDP basically happens to only be for 2015, which is China being very, very slow in getting data. Of course, with 1.4 billion people, it's darn hard to collect data. So growth is high, but not that high compared to its past. The main driver, as we can see right here, is private consumption. And also we can see that all four pillars of GDP are positive. Let's continue on and look at the overall market. The Chinese market has about almost 3,000 listed companies in it. And what we can see about this market is that the earnings contracted, what we can see earnings contraction right here in 2014 and 15, and now analysts expecting a recovery in 2016 and onwards. Of course, we know that analysts tend to be very bullish. Now, the country trades above Asia X Japan on about 16 times or so, which we can see the PE right here, 16 times. But an interesting way of looking at this is uh, because China has, let's say, about 20% of its stock market in banks, and banks trade in China at about seven times PE. If we were to adjust that by excluding banks, that would be up to about 23 uh, or 22% rather than the 15 or 16% you see right here. So that's a an issue where China sometimes appears cheap but is not. Then the country has a low dividend yield versus the rest of Asia and a relatively low ROE. Again, the ROE is about if we adjusted for banks, it would be higher. So if we continue on and we look at the FVMR framework of the way I look at markets, you're going to see that the overall score is poor. And so the overall score is right up here. And we can see that that overall score is a two. Now, if we go down and look at the other components, fundamentals, well, that ranks as a five. It's moderate at about 11%. Of course, as I've mentioned, it's, it's depressed a bit because of the banks. Valuation, moderately expensive, and momentum is poor. Both earnings and price momentum. And then finally, risk is moderate. So there's nothing particularly appealing about the Chinese market to me right now. If we continue on and look at sector performance, what I mentioned before was that the financials in this case are about 22% of the market, then industrials, and then consumer discretionary. And the best sector and stock was the infotech sector, up about 7%. The best performing stock was up about 92%. And then when we come to the worst performing sector, about 7% down for the telcos. And then uh, this company is down about 12%, which isn't, isn't so bad when you consider some of the falls we've seen in China. So want more? Well, get access to additional research and articles that we're doing and sign up for free membership and a newsletter. All you got to do is go to babinow.com. That's become a better investor now.com slash join. See you there.